I have three children at home. Let's imagine for a moment that one was an A student, one was a B student, and one was a C student. If all I do is recognize them and praise them for achievement, which one of the three is getting all of the praise and recognition? A student. Which one is getting more and more frustrated and discouraged as time goes on? The B and C student, right? Is it possible that my C student could have just as much character as my A student and still be just a C student? Oh, yeah. Oh, of course they could. In fact, they could have more character than my A student and still be just a C student. See, grades are achievement. And achievements are dependent upon a lot of things. Competency levels vary. Some people are just better at it than others. It just comes more naturally to get good grades than others. Character is the key to success. That's why I say I'm more concerned about the character of my children than their achievement. As long as I know they're operating at 100% of their capacity and they're only a C student, that's fine with me. Maybe they're only an F student. Maybe they've got a learning disability that prevents them from excelling beyond that. But if their character is in place, that's the key. And here's a power thought attached to this. If all I do is praise and recognize for achievement, what am I encouraging the other two students to do in order to get the grade? Cheat. Cheat. Do you see why cheating is so prevalent in our society today? Why it's so prevalent in our schools and our colleges? While people are lying on resumes, they've been taught that achievement is the total picture, and it's only part of it. By focusing on achievement to the exclusion of character, the fruit instead of the seed, I actually encourage dishonorable and deceptive practices. I can encourage bad character. I was on a radio talk show a couple years ago. And I was invited to come on there as the guest host. Now, I've been on radio talk shows before as the guest. This was the first time as the guest host. I was a little bit concerned about this. I was out of my comfort zone. People love to call into these shows and complain about you, don't they? You know, they got a speeding ticket or they got arrested or whatever, and you didn't do the job right or your deputies didn't, and they want to complain. And so I told the, the, the regular host, I said, well, I don't know if I want to do this or not. For three hours to subject myself to these call-in criticisms? She says, no, 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 it doesn't work that way. She said, you've got to have a topic. You maintain that topic, and that way you can control the calls. I said, okay, that's, that works. What should my topic be? She said, why don't you talk about character? You go all over the place teaching about this. Why don't you talk about it on the radio? People will find that interesting. Okay, I can do that. So I get on the radio. We're talking about all this stuff. Same stuff I just told you. Character versus, versus competence. Character versus achievement. Focusing on character instead of the achievement itself. And I get a phone call from a father. He's all excited. He says, Sheriff Nash, you have just solved a major problem for me and my family. I have two children, a son and a daughter, and I told them that if they would make it to the honor roll this time, I would give them $50, whichever one made it or both that they made it. $50 to make the honor roll. He said, my son made it. My daughter, on the other hand, tried really hard, and she missed it by one point. And he said, I've been in a quandary all this time thinking, I don't want to lower my standard, but I recognize that she really did work hard. She just didn't quite make it. He said, you solved my problem. I was focusing on achievement instead of the character. I've got to go back and change all this. I've got to fix it. He said, in fact, I'm out here in front of my kid's school right now. He was on a cell phone, ready to pick him up. Here comes my son running up to the car, and he's all excited, and he's waving his report card in the air. I said, your son's there right now. He said, yeah, he's running up to the car. I said, what's his name? He said, his name's Chad. I thought, can you put Chad on the phone? This might be a great opportunity. So he says, sure. He puts Chad on the phone. Chad gets on the phone in my best possible radio voice that I can muster. Chad, this is Sheriff Ray Nash, and you are on live talk radio. Chad was not impressed. Uh, <laughs> Chad, Chad was about seven years old. He wasn't impressed with that. And I said, Chad, I understand you made it to the honor roll. Yeah, I made it. I said, I'm so pleased to hear about that, Chad, but I want to ask you a couple of questions. I said, to get these kind of grades that you got, do you have to be particularly attentive in class? Do you have to pay close attention to what the teacher says to get these kind of grades? Oh, yeah, you got to pay attention. If you don't pay attention, well, you might miss something that's important. 
All right, Chad, how about this? Do you have to work really hard in your studies? Do you have to be extra diligent? Invest a lot of time and energy into getting your studies done. Oh, yeah, you've got to study hard to get these kind of grades. Well, Chad, do, um, when you turn in your work assignments, do you have to be sure that they're totally completed, you know, they're thorough, that you don't leave anything out? Well, yeah, of course. You know, you idiot, you didn't say that, but, you know, of course. If you leave something out, they count off for that. Well, Chad, one more question. Do you have to be sure your assignments are turned in on time? Do you have to be punctual? Well, oh, yeah. If, I mean, if you turn it in late, they count off for that. So, well, Chad, I'm very pleased that you got these kind of grades. Well, let me tell you what I'm most impressed with you about. I'm most impressed with the attentiveness that you displayed in class, the diligence with which you completed your studies, the thoroughness with which you completed your assignments, and the punctuality with which you turned them in on time. Now, I'm going to tell you something else, Chad. If you continue to be attentive, thorough, diligent, and punctual, Throughout your life, you're going to be successful no matter where you go or what you do. That's what people are looking for. See, that's character. And I had the opportunity to show this father the power of character and how to use this vocabulary to praise and recognize his children. And it's transformational. It is transformational.